Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here, Mr. Mocha Lover, at the start of a new campaign in Red Road, and we are going to be playing as the American Republic under Donald Rumsfeld and we are nationalists. So this is my first time playing in the broken United States in Red Road, so I want to leave on historical AI focuses. That does mean that we'll probably end up going to war relatively soonish, probably, I don't know. Um, I don't know that much about America. The 2010 presidential elections. Uh, oh, Duke wins. Hmm, restores Duke. I don't know. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really have no idea. So let's begin. So the four mods we're using are obviously Red World Fan Fork, Player Led Peace Conferences, the State Transfer Tool Mod, and Colored Events. Pretty much the standard stuff that I use in all my campaigns. Um, but I do know eventually we will go to war with the American People's Commonwealth, which I need to play as a few different times. And we'll probably play as American Republic a few different times as well. I have to play as Texas, which is like currently by Rick Perry. And then I also have to play as the Amer Union of American People's Republics. And maybe even the Republic of Lincoln. But in honor of Kaiser 1871. Thank you. That's for you, Tom. Thank you very much. And, oh, the State of America. 49 days for 120 political power. Not bad. Push for recognition. We have glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Don't tease me with such a good time. And the Texan question, which, well, looks like we're forced to go with the State of America. Our nation is nearing a crossroads with a controversial presidential election and our enemies growing stronger every single day. The State of America should be reassessed. So what do we start with? Four research slots, apparently. Uh, production. Minor assembly lines look pretty good. Let's grab some construction. Basic construction tools, I should say. The www.mine.internet. As well as the land doctrine. Now, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the land doctrine pretty much immediately unless we need some planes. Oh boy, let's grab some planes first. I love planes. What army do we have here? Well, that's not that bad actually. American rifles, Atlanta Delta, Atlanta Delta Force, Defense Force, 16 combat with. Ah, that's gonna be. That's not bad. And we have M16A1s. God, I've never fired one. I kind of want to though. Let's see, 16 combat with basically the same. Eh, sort of the same thing. And American first American armor. That sounds amazing. Only 12 combat width, but as long as they get enough armor, I'm okay with whatever they got. So, let's grab you, we'll grab you, and shove you. Uh, you know what? No. I'm going to have both of you guys do this, and we'll have a different army for the other group. Mark A. Milley, Michael Hagee, Hagee, H.H. Human Shelton. Well, you're going to be the infantry dude, so I want you best defense. Um, actually, there you go. Uh, let's see. Free civilian factories. Oh my goodness, yeah, I've got a lot of things here. I'm not even sure what this does. Hospitals? More recruitment capabilities. So I guess you get more manpower, maybe? And research center? Does that give you, like, a research speed boost? It's probably best to ask you guys now, seeing as, um, uh, this is the first episode, obviously, in this campaign, and, well, I'll probably see the most, or have the most viewers on this episode out of all the campaign episodes. Some of this, we don't have that many factories, do we? Oh my goodness. Do we need empty tank for these divisions? Is it like TNO where you have to have empty tank? No, it's not. That's kind of nice. Uh, do you have any empty tank main battle tanks? Yeah, that's going to be very costly. So no, that's good. Boom, boom. Just train a bunch of infantry for now. There you go. We're going to need way more factories then. We're going to need a lot of guns. And main battle tanks. Thank you. Light tanks would be nice, but we don't really need that. We're good there. Get some fighters. Tactical bombers. Do I want to use tactical bombers in this campaign? I almost always go now. Go Just go for close air support because I love close air support. Well, let's do that. If we don't have cast yet, that's fine. Naval stuff. Oh, my goodness. Cruisers. I don't like heavy cruisers because I'm slightly biased, even though I heard they're pretty good. Or if you know how to use them, they're pretty good. Destroyer ones. Eh, I'm not really interested in that. Eh, I'm not really interested in that. Good, good. Okay, we're good. Uh, carriers. What is our fleet like before I do anything else? It is... Well, crap. There is no <laughs> There is no fleet. Okay. Well, I guess we got to start from scratch then. This carrier... Carrier 2, A1. That's not bad. That's actually not too bad. I would honestly replace it with, de with deck armor just because I like a little bit of armor on our ships. But we already have some armor, so... This isn't too bad. Uh, I'll, I'll use it. And... Let's see. Oh, wait. That's a carrier 1 as well. Why is that so much smaller? Um, That's still not bad. That's 7 armor. This has 9 armor. Alright, whatever. Thank you. And light cruiser A1, 2s. I have attack lag piercing. Uh, yeah, it's not a capital ship, which we like. That is pretty okay. It's not great. Well, it is what it is. I don't think we'll be using our navy that much, but obviously we'll see what happens. Ooh, do we have any decisions? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Um. Well, if you'd like to read about this stuff, go right here. Go right ahead. Uh, and then surrender. 
And this is for all the people that want to read stuff. I'm, I'm not going to read it through all this stuff, so... Just get it done in the beginning here. And then, the 1954 Guatemalan coup d'etat. Assassination of Daddy Kennedy. No, 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 no. The Suez Crisis. 56th presidential election. My goodness. The 1960s presidential election, because nothing happened between 1956 and 1960. Keeping missile crisis pretty normal. Uh, the civil rights movement. Oh. And the assassin... Who assassinated Tricky Dick? Holy cow, why would you do that? 60th presidential election, of course. White House or mental asylum? Wow, that seems kind of funny. Kind of crazy. Uh, 72 presidential election. Uh, surprise detente. That's how you pronounce it, detente. That's, that's the last time I remember. The Spanish crisis, of course. The impeachment of John Ashbrook is next. And then 1976 elections. That's probably one of the elections that no one ever remembers. Oh, well, maybe not. I can't remember. See, exactly. Oh, 1980, of course. Uh, Ronald Reagan defeated Jimmy Carter. And then... Oh, you have your image down here, too. Yeah, at least it's in color. That's nice. That's a nice tie. I don't know who's wearing a vest. As well as economic crisis. Strangling workers. And that's what we have for now. Oh, God. I have to click on all these now. Oh, boy. My apologies. And so I'm not exactly sure if we're going to get attacked from anywhere else. Uh... But I'm going to assume that our main front is going to be against these guys up here. So let's station you up top. We've already full game going. Uh, and just go right ahead. Cool. And let's see. This is the motorized. Oh, but do they not have anyone here? Oh, the rise of the Republic. The cowardly pres president, Ronald Reagan, once said that America's loss and the democratic and capitalist values that we hold dear have failed in the face of the Soviet Union. But it's not these words that the Republic lives by. Instead, we are guided by the vision of our savior, President Bush. Oh, God, this timeline. For, for years since the collapse of the U.S., we've been cast aside as remnants with little legitimacy on the world stage. We're considered the backwater of the old USA, even when compared to our less and prosperous Midwestern neighbors. So, now there's only one real path for the Republic, a new awakening. If we were to break free from the chains of history, it must be said that it is time for the rise of the Republic. We should take back what, what is rightfully ours and unite the U.S. again once and for all. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Uh, Burble W.B. Bell the third. Is this... You say Burwell B. Bell? I'm thinking of Verbal from TNO. Um, let's see. Walters, McConville, Conway, Allen, Temple, Tucker, Odierno, Solvaga. Oh, uh, UAPR General Secretary, huh? Okay. Struggle for unification will begin sooner rather than later. Troy Millis. Alright, cool, kinda cool. Alright, so, infantry, I want as much defense as possible, so we'll go with you. And then infantry, whatever, Mark R. de Alencar. And you should be just your own separate thing, because tanks are going to be precious. Uh, as much attack as possible, and then we shall grab you, and I want as much attack as possible as well. Only level 2 stuff from here on out. Nope, level 4. Meredith? I'm sorry about your name, but whatever. Cool, so all this stuff we don't have to look at. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh, National Spirit. So we have standing firm, so we don't like revolutionary socialists, and we don't like commies. Let's see, flight of the executives, we lose a lot of political power. Wow, we have 2010 Olympic Games, or Winter Olympics, if you like to buy that, go right ahead. Consumer goods sucks. Factory output really sucks. International stigma is what it is. And American isolation will be unable to join or create factions until we reunite America or abandon our claims altogether. Woo! Alright, so, authority and strength. Nationalist values, corporatism. Military faction wins convention. So whatever path I choose is going to upset some people, so... Gaddafi's treasure resigns. State of America. Is there anything on the left now? Texan question. Embrace nationalist values. Oh, we can't do that yet. So, I guess in the meantime, let's go into glory, glory, hallelujah. But on every great nation, must be a great military. Or the military might in tatters, especially on the industrial stage, it is clear that the legacy of America as peacekeepers of the world must be upheld, and the only way to do that shall be through a nation, a strong, independent, and uniquely American military. Oh, God, let's political power, too. We can only get none. Well, 0.61 is not much. Call for an election, of course. Support conservatives, support whoever. Um, autocratic charmer. Oh, I do want to get a silent recourse just so we can bump ourselves up a little bit more. That might be a really bad idea, but whatever. That's just how I like to play, you know. Uh, I'll probably have to go to early mobilization next. Yazov is dead. No, Yazov. No, 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 no. no. Hello, Mr. Handsome. Vladi. Okay. Just okay. Why not? Alright, so I don't like. I, off screen, I have not tried this at all, like off screen, so this is my very first attempt playing as the United States, like, like, like I said. This stuff, it can't happen here. Princess Diana's dead, functioning government. Oh, we can become fascists. 
Oh, wait, can, I think we can become Yaki eventually. Down with Duke? The wizard's speech. Wait, we can quarter all sorts of different things. Total war. Ooh. A united republic. Princess Diana's funeral. Well, rest in peace. Well, goodbye. Power to the people. Oh, well, that's kind of different. Purge the commies. Alright, so what's under here? Corporatism. I might have been recommended to go down the corporatist route. I'm kind of interested in doing that, but we have protected networks. Not bad, not bad. Uh, target the independence union, national conservatism, weaken democratic institutions, congress of businessmen, power to the president. I like total authority. I like that political power and recruitable population or power to the corporations. Uh, I like the construction speed. Wow. Wow. Absorb the Midwest. Absorb Illinois. War with the false fascist rising eagle. Um, all right. Cool. So, if you'd like to read about the rising eagle, go right ahead as once it pops back up. Rising eagle 2 out of 2, an interesting read, but not exactly realistic. Or we also have restore order. Mark Milley becomes leader of the fascist party. Military coup. A legitimate ruler? Wait, with monarchism, what? <clears throat> In my America? No, no, no. I get some more political power, martial laws, fun. Hundreds of Libyan protesters are killed. Well, another, just a normal day in Libya. Secure the West. Miami attack. Our intelligence agency have been protecting another radical leftist attack for years now since the last major 2006 incident in, incident in Dallas. However, the government hasn't seen anything or any strong evidence supporting such a theory and hence decided to brush it aside. It seems that this was an astronomical mistake late last night as thousands of people were beginning to return home. The Intercontinental Hotel exploded an enormous ball of flame and debris. With people running for their lives and emergency services quick to reach the scene, the death toll had already risen to over 50 innocent men, women, and children. Less than five minutes ago, the radical leftist group American Liberation claimed responsibility for the the attack, a claim backed up by the CIA and FBI. Should have listened? Listen to what? Establish secret police? Nice, I like secret police. Now, unless you're a fed boy. I wish I wasn't. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Conservative junto? Okay, not bad, not bad. Increased social programs. Benevolent state. No, I like, I like that one. And corporate military government. Uh, there's so much we could choose here. No matter what, like I said earlier, no matter what way I choose, someone's not going to like the way I, I do stuff, so I might just eventually play all these different paths with the American Republic, so Mayday attack, oh, well that sucks, well, okay, consolidate our rule, work with Congress, bypass Congress, um, okay, monarchism, uh, monarchy here, why, in this turmoil? But friend kingdoms, Arab Islamic generals resign, crush Republicans, ensure CIA loyalty, which is okay, not bad. Crown Prince of Americas, prepare the military, elect a prime, oh, a prime minister, far right claim responsibility for death of Gorbachev, oh boy. Okay, um, okay, okay, death of Gorbachev, and then, interesting, showcase stability. Operation Free Princes. Wow. Liberals in Beida uh, revolt. One man, one nation. I like that. Uh, General Haftar resigns. Devotion to the king. Oh, God. Not bad, though. It could be worse. Glory, glory, hallelujah now. <clears throat> oh, fighters, too. So that's Restore Order. Or we could go with Embrace Nationalist Values. This other one is Authority and Strength. Nationalist policies, increased Republican support, conservative policies, independence, union popularity spikes, and Republican dominance, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, lower taxes, a proud army, stand by the Republic, I wish I was in Dixie, begin decentralization, weaken trade unions, cut ties to the U.S., what the heck, USA, states rights, the American alliance, America is back, Support the Mormon Church. And negotiate with Arizona. Traders of Utah. Oh my goodness. I don't know which one to choose. Uh, but let's do another focus in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Salute the soldiers. Not bad. The sailors and the pilots. Well, what do we get around here? Bonuses to blueprints and such. That seems okay. Carriers. It seems like that's not bad to do. The army is probably the most important thing to do. Since the beginning, the brave soldiers of America fought for our nation and for freedom. It's time to say thank you to those men and women. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, get some casts, because I love me some casts. And do we have anything over here? Yes, get some M4s. It's not quite an M4, but all right, whatever. 
We are not doing great, great on supplies. Benghazi Islamists Revolt. Well, good luck with that. The Libyan Communist Revolt. Libyan Syndicalist Revolt. This statue has been erected. A testament to our love of our citizens have for late President Bush Sr. A new statue has been erected in Atlanta. Placed across the road from the national capital, this statue represents all that we've accomplished since 1987 the great work the Republican Party has done, according to the designer, at least. A crowd of patriots have gathered around the statue this morning to pay their respects to the now deceased leader. Truly amazing. What year did he actually die? I don't remember. Uh, what do we have? We don't have a lot of guns. A uh, APCs, armored personal carriers, not bad. Um, after that, we'll probably do weapons of reunification. I'll do land doctrine. Methods of reunification. To reunify the nation, we must think of new doctrines for the inevitable woes that will occur on our soil. Refugees arrive in Sicily. Oh, I love the refugee crisis. So we have national renewal with David Duke, which sounds sort of familiar. Uh, D Donald Rumsfeld, House of No. No, I was American. No, House of Washington. Mm, Paul the First. I don't know, man. Tom Metzger, National Bolshev. Oh no. Uh, uh, not this one. We want the other one. Yeah. National Bolshevik? Oh my goodness. Independence Union. There you go. Robert Bentley. Don't know who that is. National Conservative, though. And the People's Party for centuries. David Nolan. Oh, we have the Libyan Union has capitulated. All right. Goodbye. And then we also have the Democratic Party, led by Mark Warner. And Progressives, led by Elizabeth War... She's here? She's in, uh... She's in the American Republic? The UAR, huh? Middle Eastern Theater? Well, I don't know that, uh... Where's she from? I don't even know. Is she from California? No. New Jersey? I have no idea. Uh, the United Socialist Alliance with Greg Passan, or Payson. The Left Party, Robert Hanel, Revolutionary Socialist. And Communist Party of the American Republic, John Bachtel. A very diverse range of candidates here. Now, is there a way for us to get Elizabeth Warren here? I mean, that would be kind of wild. I'm not saying we should or not, but be kind of wild, but I do I got to play as the American People's Republic and get, you know, Bernie and play as Chomsky, the British Prime Minister has been assassinated, David Owen, and his deputy Shirley Williams were hunted, or hunted, basically down. Oh. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Yep, let's go and move on to early mobilization. That should definitely help us out here, right? We do have some army XP, but I do want to make sure we get enough of a gun stockpile, or, or at least be able to throw some more artillery on our soldiers. I think that'd be pretty important. And we have a surplus of main battle tanks, actually. That's not bad. And we have extra armored personnel. Let's take a look at our heavies here, actually. Oh, it's... Oh, crap. It's all... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. There are all... I didn't realize that there was just six... Uh... Italy declares refugee crisis. Well, I mean... Is this supposed to be historical? Maybe it is. Not bad, not bad. Alright, alright. We've got a few, a few weeks left. And methods of reunification. Aim for the little man. Mm, I want some more army XP, so... Modern day war is mechanical, so we must try our best to get the best vehicles. Alright, so we have some protests outside the White House. Although the White House hasn't been occupied officially by the President for two decades, it still remains a popular location for protests against government policies and other issues that so many Americans hold dear today. The protests are based around our apparently rigged election for the presidency, with polls showing a substantial win for Rumsfeld or Jeb Bush in November. Dissidents and supporters of the Independence Union claim this is not true, a truly contested democratic process. Even followers of the far-right and liberal left have united under one common anti-Republican cause. How about you vote and you'll get what you want? Well, I don't know. Anyways, regardless, I've done a few things off screen. We are going down now the mobile warfare doctrine because I thought, you know what? We're going with tanks, probably. we got a lot of motorized. Let's just try to max it out, right? And we're about to have some cats, too, which would be nice. I love it. I love close air support. Uh, let's see. Very good, very good. 2011's almost here. Hmm. Why not? Just a little bit ahead of time. So now, we're doing weapons of reunification. How are we going to take out these guys over here? Now, uh, probably what we're going to do... Ooh, driving over through Ohio is going to suck. But if we get to Cincinnati immediately, that would actually probably be the best thing to do. Yeah. We could go to Cincinnati, Dayton, Historic Compromise. Oh, in Italy. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, yeah, I, I look, forgot to look at the rest of the world. So we have the German Democratic Republic. Poland's looking pretty nice. We get the Italian Union. Yugoslavia. Oh, Battle Royale. Uh, 
Libya. Oh, I would hate to be in Libya right now. But then again, it is 2010, so what do you expect? So, the 2010 presidential election. For the first time in history of the American Republic, non-Republican candidates are opposing a legitimate threat to President Rumsfeld. From, for the far, from the far right, advocates for segregation, rapid, violent unification in the U.S. is David Duke. From a group calling themselves the true successors to old American Republicans is Robert Bentley, who has promised uh, cooperation with their Midwestern neighbors in Texas. However, another candidate who has rapidly risen the polls is our savior, President Bush's son, Jeb Bush. His leadership in Florida has expanded the state's industry and living standards, and many are eager to have a Bush back in executive office. Can Rumsfeld maintain his position or will he be swept away by a popular opponent? Now, I'll be honest here, I, like I said earlier, I don't remember which way people want me to go. And, and someone wants me to go with a non-Republican candidate or something like that? Strength and authority. David Duke is president. I kind of want to go with uh, embrace nationalist values, but I definitely don't want to go with, well, I guess technically the king is over this route, so the legitimate ruler. No thanks. Um, one nation under the flag. One nation under the chief. Traders of the Great Lakes. Operation Blue Dawn sounds amazing. Operation New England sounds pretty good. The United States. Revenge against... Oh, it's not bad. Kind of like that. Unite the armies. Reconciliation. Okay, strong America. And a new constitution. Now, this route is what? The Freedom Act? Nationalist policies. Jeb Bush is president. Oh, okay. Hmm. Jeb Bush. Well, we all love Jeb Bush. Is he exactly what we want? Adopt a centrist economic policy. Industry in Alabama and Carolina. Hmm, now I apologize in advance just because no matter who I choose, it's not going to go very well. So, absorb the Midwest. Ensure protection. Corporatism. Ah, oh, man. Chaotic government. Uh, whoever I choose, I don't even know, like, I'm sure there's, like, some special meme pass you, you, you can get with whoever we want, and we get some really weird people. States' rights. I wish I was in Dixie. That's conservative policies. And Republican dominance, ooh. Robert Bentley. Independence Union. Well, I do want to go down and fight the USSR, so I'm kind of interested in going down this route, maybe. Total War. Duke prepares the country. The wizard speech, oh god. Um, I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. I just don't know who to choose for. Choose, um, hmm. Second term from Rumsfeld. Nationalist. Jeb Bush is a nationalist. Stronger president. National renewal. Freedom and liberty. I kind of like freedom and liberty, maybe. Oh. Uh, we'll choose that one. We need a stronger president. National renewal. How about that? Do we change our flag? Okay, it's lagging very hard. Oh, there we go. Alright, so nothing on the left. And now we shall go with, I apologize for taking so long with this, but authority and strength. David Duke's luck can prove to be to the Republican elite that we want a strong leader with an iron fist. America must be strong if it is to survive the coming storm and oppose a communist menace that is taking control over half the nation. Wow. Polls show startling shift. Well, we would do that, but we can't. Wait. Oh, I'm focusing on weapons of reunification. No wonder. We're still doing the old focus, but we can choose this focus, which makes a lot of sense. There we go. And we have 25 army XP. Um, I guess that's David Duke, huh? I, don't I know absolutely nothing about him. But okay, whatever. All right, so over here we got to throw on some motorized, just because we, we need at least a little bit more organization. Uh, we don't have a lot of APCs, but we'd have enough to cover at least one of these, so... I remember my first campaign, this was playing as the Soviet Union with good old Putin. Independent Labour wins snap election in the UK. Well, good job, Labour. Good job, good job. Now, we haven't created an intelligence agency yet, but we'll see what way we go. I kind of like that flag, the Free States of America. Hmm. When do we go to war? That's my main question. Oh, so we also own DC, huh? They got a lot of slots down in DC or the district. So, 2010, congressional elections. While the presidential elections have already been held, elections for the American Republican Congress are to be held today. While minor parties have gained some popularity, especially in poor regions of the Republic, the Republicans are expected to win big once again. However, could a post-presidential election result that be the turning point for an entirely new Congress? National conservatism, fascism, or nationalism? Only 2% more nationalism. So we are a national renewal. Um, hmm. Nationalists are Republicans. Probably not. National conservatism. 
is Independence Union. Well, technically. That's centrist, national conservative. Well, national renewal. I don't want to lose political power, but things just happen, as some might say. Wow. We have a lot more support now. Not bad. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Uh, next thing will be done in about a month, so that's not too bad. Oh, an Islamic state of Libya has capitulated. Well, get back on the battle bus, I guess. Triple E, okay, looking. Yeah, I remember playing when Putin. D trying to get involved down there. Supply is just so god awful. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. Regardless, it can't happen here. Functioning government. Oh, no. Corporatism, functioning government, or chaotic government. Ooh, military coup in Atlanta. Duke expresses interest in corporatism. It can't happen here. Do we get Yaki? Wait, can we, can we? I think we can get Yaki. If I remember correctly, when I was looking at the um, the GFX file for leaders, for images of the leaders, I think I did find Yaki here, but to happy 2011, everyone. Hope you're having a good year. Congress Congress and President working together. Unexpe unexpected by many political analysis, President David Duke has managed to establish himself as a functional leader. With his government working seamlessly with Congress, of course, this is most likely due to his party's recent stunning upset in the congressional elections, but it will send a clear message to Duke's opponents. Excellente, as he probably doesn't say, but I want to see what happens after this. Yes, yeah, again, kind of, uh, kind of weird. <laughs> oh, and polls showing startling shift. Polls released by the Gallup this morning show that an overwhelming number of Americans are beginning to feel negatively towards democracy and the Republican values Bush enshrined in our nation. Instead, they seem to favor authoritarianism and total control for the National Renewal Party, the NP NRP which ran successful candidate David Duke for president in 2010. These polls come as a shock to the establishment and elite, both in the Republican Party and Independence Union. Soon their desires will come true. It's getting weird. I guess it already is technically weird. But that's okay. Radar, why not? And it is 2011, so let's grab some more construction. Hmm. It can't happen here. Corporatism. Oh, so that makes sense. If we chose someone else in terms of co Congress, then we could have gone down this way. Or we could have become a monarchist, but that doesn't sound like fun. Now the question is, do we become corporatists, or it can happen here? Well, corporatists, uh, more fascist support. We got basically one, one route here, and we basically have two routes down here. Promote research. Uh, more oh, outlaw dissent, megalomaniac construction, links to the triple K. The president knows best. I like purging commies, I guess. A united republic, power to the people, or overthrow Congress. Wait, who's that? Frank and Kona, our own paramilitary. We need total control versus freedom for W white Americans. Enforce segregation. Southern agriculture. Denounce progressivism. Work for all Americans. Wizard speech and liberate the American people. I kind of like that one, but I kind of maybe want to try corporatism. You know, crush personal liberties. Um, that seems okay. Drift to fascism. Power to corporations. Not great, as we said earlier, but not bad. Power to the President, I like a lot. Return of the Americans. Economic Revival Act, you know what? What if we went this way? Let's try this, you know, I'm gonna try this one. It can't happen here, sounds like a lot of fun. Let's try corporatism. Corporatism is the way forward, and American corporatocracy will restore control of our nation to those who can truly run it, not weak-willed politicians. Although many in the fascist movement will express anger due from bending to corporate interests, it is clear that an America managed by corporations and businessmen will be more efficient than any democratic regime. Now, kinda of went down that way just because I don't know. It can't happen here. I recently, relatively recently, played as, in Kaiser Redux, the American Union State with uh, General Bill Alafa, Murray, Bill Murray, or something like that. Bill Murray. Maybe not Bill Murray, but... Let's just say we went down that Triple K route, and I don't, I don't want to go down that route again, at least in this uh, campaign. Syria? Oh. Good luck, Syria. I always love a good Syrian civil war. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Over 300 day Renos. We don't have a lot of manpower now, do we? We really don't. Uh, you got South Carolina. There you go. If we cut these down a little bit more, will that help us out, maybe? It does help out with guns. APCs. Hopefully we get more APCs. Where are our infantry? Go ahead and train. We could use more army XP, honestly. We got, like, none, so... We got about 19 days left. Target the Independence Unions. More stability. Promote skilled immigration. Huh. Okay. Create investment advisory council. I kind of like that. Ooh, I like the fascism and popularity, though. Hmm, construction speed, political power. 
Uh, what do we have around here? Yeah, silent lawyers, not bad. I would like to go to war economy a little bit more quickly, so let's go weaken democratic institutions. Democratic institutions like Congress are destabilized in this country and should have the powers limited. The politicians in Congress and the bureaucracy have no interest in repairing the economics of America, merely exploiting our nation's wealth for their own personal gain. If they are all corporate puppet anyways, as people say, then the puppeteers are already in power. Duke expresses interest in corporatism. President Duke has held a press conference this morning to address concerns about the path of his new administration, while many have supported a strong man authoritarian government with Duke at the helm. It seems the president's other plans, according to a statement, he's working tirelessly to bring back jobs and the upper classes back to America in order to stimulate the, our, our economy. Opponents to this new government have called such a statement outright support for fascistic corp corporatism. <laughs> An excellent path! And illegal immigration issue. And as Midwestern situation deteriorates every single day, border officers are becoming overwhelmed by an unprecedented influx of illegal immigrants. Crossing the border in sparse groups and many times with great secrecy, border forces have been unable to apprehend most immigrants. As the president is briefed on the situation by his chiefs of staff, immigration and secretary and state secretaries, conservatives within the government are outraged that the chief could such could let such a disastrous crisis unfold. Self-proclaimed humanists, however, have expressed their support for all illegal immigrants offering food and shelter. Oh, we'll find a solution, all right. We will find a solution with uh, a corporatist ways. Oh, we need more guns. And maybe more APCs. Yeah, we're doing a good job training them, too. Texas Senate attacked. As the Texas Senators convened to discuss a pressing issue of the latest American election, three bombs detonated throughout the chamber in one of the main hall. As hundreds ran terrified and emergency services scrambled to, what, to save what and who they could, it suddenly became clear that there might be no one left, and as of now, authorities are indicating that no sitting senator has survived the blast which has shaken the entire nation to the core. With the dust settling, one question remains, could the pro-remnant forces they've been hearing from for the past few months be the perpetrators for this grotesque attack? It's time to settle this. So it's on the oh the Texan question, state of Texas state solution, Republican solution, currency, national god laws the Republic solution, Texan Senate structure of the state the flag, the state solution oh that's not bad, core former Texan territory. So do we have Texan troubles? No, we don't. International stigma and eh, whatever. Well, that's a case. Maybe we should put our soldiers on the border with Texas. You never know what they might be up to. As long as Atlanta doesn't get sacked anytime soon, we're kind of okay. Wait, so Texas is looking really weak. Wow. Yeah, they have Houston all. They have Austin, but they don't have Dallas. Wow. All right. This is a very weird 2011. But I'm glad that we're not in 2011 anymore. Weird times for me. All right. We'll do the Texan solution. A question, really. Will William and Kate Mary? I remember that. That was... Wow. 2011 tornado outbreak? Well, I'd rather read about the tax in question. The tax on the Texan Senate by pro republic terrorists have once again raised the question Should we work towards absorbing Texas into the American Republic? Probably. The 2011 super outbreak was the largest, costliest, and one of the deadliest tornado outbreaks ever recorded, affecting the southern, midwestern, northeastern American states and leaving catastrophic destruction in its wake. The event affected Alabama and Mississippi the most severely, but also produced destructive tornadoes in Arkansas, Georgia, Tennessee, and Virginia, and affected many other areas throughout the southern and eastern United States. Widespread and destructive tornadoes occurred on each day of the outbreak, with 27th of April being the most active day, with a record of 218 tornadoes touching down that day from midnight to midnight. In total, 348 people were killed as a result of the outbreak, which includes 324 tornado-related deaths across six states, and an additional 24 fatalities caused by other thunderstorm-related events, such as straight line winds, hail, flash, flooding, or light. In Alabama alone, 238 tornado related deaths were confirmed. Oh, terribly tragic. Partial mobilization, anyone? I think so. Good. And actually, you know what? I'll put you here first. Let's build up two at a time. That'd be kind of nice. And we still get how much political power every day? 0.83. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, at the end of today, I did not imagine I'd be playing a campaign where I had David Duke in charge of America, or at least our America. Um,. That's not too bad. 2011 still. Anything over here? Yes. No. Construction? Uh, actually, how are we doing on... Uh, we don't even extract those, so that'd be kind of a waste. Man, yeah, it's not really worth it in my mind. Uh, we already have what we got there. Maintenance companies could be pretty good for our tanks, so let's grab that. And after that, maybe... How are our tanks actually looking? We have M8, M89A1s. Uh -huh. So what tanks are we using currently? 2006 main battle tanks. All right, the Texan question. With the recent attack on the Texan Senate claimed by a radical pro-republic group, the time has come for us as a nation to answer the Texan question for that for many years has encroached on American Texas relations. Should our western neighbor become an integrated state or a satellite state of the republic, and will they accept? 
Um, I'm not a republic, so... Or, you know, we're not too keen on being a republican here. Um, I'm going to go with the Texan state. They refuse. The Texan ambassador met with the president today, outlining his government's response to an extremely generous offer. Apparently, they have decided that becoming a state of the American Republic would not be beneficial to them or the Texan people, and hence they have refused their offer. In addition, the Texan president called Atlanta to declare that a state of war now exists between our two nations due to the fascistic notions of our request, so be it. Well, I mean, honestly, like... I mean, they don't even have... Yeah, they have the panhandle of Texas, but, like, they don't even have Dallas. They barely have Houston. Um... We have Arlington, Wichita Falls. I mean, yeah, they still have Austin, Houston, Abilene, and, you know, El Paso, but... And, yeah, sure, they have half of New Mexico, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I would... Yeah, I mean, I understand the Texan sentiment of being independent and such, but still. Still. Uh, the corporate economies lose political power, lose consumer goods... Factory output, civilian construction speed. Oh boy, sign me up. Gone is a Congress of ignorant politicians. A Congress of elite businessmen and intelligent executives will bring prosperity to America. No longer will the bloodhounds of American politics decide policy, but rather cool and collected entrepreneurs and corporate elites who truly understand the spirit and state of America. Well, we'll see about that. Anyways, do we have an air people? Oh yeah, we do. Sort of. We have an air people. Well, I don't know if we should call them air people. Maybe pilots. We air people might work as well. There you go. Hey, we built a ship too. Nice. Go and train. You probably won't get sunk, but you never know. Ooh, who is this? All these people, right? Joxo Garcia Kirkland? Is that like the Costco brand? Or is that, you know. Oh, Brett. You're at the top anyways. Doesn't matter to me. Um, well. Looks like we're just moving in. Uh, love Cass. Okay, so the capital's been completely cut off from everyone else. Alright, not bad. The British Revolution, or not Revolution, but Republic Referendum. Okay. Hello, Mexico. How are you? Yeah, we're not winning here. That's all right, though. Because all these guys will get crushed, and then we can crush these guys over here, too. Well, at least we'll have Texas under us. That's kind of nice. Head on in. Na Texan Nationalist Attack. We just received reports of another grotesque attack perpetrated by Texan Nationalists, angered by a new agreement with Texas. With the death of toll rising, soon these terrorists will meet their maker. Horrible. Oh, they removed one infrastructure. Oh, yeah. I mean... We didn't want to do it like this, Texas. And yeah, I guess we're attack technically attacking tanks. We can't pierce each other, really. But, you know, whatever. These guys are running out of supplies soon enough, so I'm not really too worried about it. Texas. And actually, it's really good for us, since I can actually add in more APCs to our tank divisions, which is actually very good for us. And it's superiority-wise, yeah, it's... We're not doing a lot of damage, but we're doing some. Enough to make maybe, maybe a difference. Okay, Texas is gone. Well, thank you, Texas. Free states of America, not too bad. Now, that might provoke these guys, because we actually just took them all out, but I guess we'll see what happens. How big is their navy? No Bernie yet. All right. Ah, it's bigger than ours. They do actually have a heavy cruiser, apparently, or something like that, so. I don't know if that's the case. we got Sally Forth right over the Ohio line. Wee! Like that. All right. And then... Nice. Let's see. More motorized. We, want to, we don't have enough APCs or infantry equipment, but that's all right. That'll come in time. And... What else? Artillery? No, we're actually doing pretty well on that. So I guess this is, these are our heavy. 2006. Main battle tanks? Gonna be light tanks. Maybe that's it. No, I mean, that's just 2006, but eh, whatever. Better light tanks? Well, we might get some recon eventually, so it might as well, right? Congress of businessmen. Crush personal liberties? Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Ah. <sighs> Uh, state of Texas. The natural the future for Texas is as an integrated state of the Union as it always has been. Just because its nationalism is flared up again does not mean it deserves any special treatment. It's part of the 50 great states of America and always shall remain so. So technically it was a Lone Star Republic well, twice in its history, if we go by this timeline. Support companies looking not too bad. Artillery is looking pretty darn good. We already have support artillery. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got it. We, we definitely need more guns. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'll go to war economy if, yeah, because we are going down a certain route. But, new Congress of Businessmen, which we'll read after we go and grab State of Texas. Very good. Today, members of the House of Representatives and Senate convened at the Atlanta Capitol to announce their resignation. So, unanimously, they decided that the government would be in better hands when handed over to corporate elites. Oh, man. However, many have seen this as a response to a supposed threat from the President Duke. 
the president's overt support for corporatism has worried many, and now he and other executives will be able to have free reign within the halls of power. We've entered the age of the Congress of Businessmen. Long live Congress. Oh, wasn't, isn't it already technically the... Hmm. Stock market instability. When the market stock market opened a few hours ago, hopes were high for a relatively positive day. Almost immediately, however, shares for various corporations dropped significantly and rapidly, frightening investors across the nation who began to express their lack of confidence in the new post-2010 government. Some have blamed the stock market in, in the instability on the administration, while the president himself claims this was a deliberate sabotage orchestrated by radical groups in order to bring uncertainty to the economy. This can't be our problem, right? Right? We still get 0.52 every single day. That's not too bad. Free army? Well, we'll do the Texan Senate. A rebellious Texan Senate would be detrimental to our efforts in the state. We must decide what the structure of this legislative body shall be, unless a national Texan Senate wrecks havoc upon the American Republic, of course. Followed with a flag. The debate on how the two flags of Texas and the Republic should be displayed is a critical issue facing Texas today. Although Texan nationalism could be diminished by displaying the Lone Star flag above the Republic's, we must also take into caution giving the, a new state of Texas too much power, unless it becomes a precedent for all of our other states. Pretty much. Oh yeah, we have also this stuff too. Civilian oversight. We can't integrate them? Well, that sucks. Over here, yeah, I guess infantry is the one that's got to do it. That sucks. Um, actually, I know we don't have enough to do this, but we can go ahead and replace these. Take these. Take at least one of these off Ooh, and replace it with cavalry maybe. 20. That might be a little better. Yeah, if we do it like that. Take these guys off. Replace them with cavalry. One, two, three, four. Well, that's as much as we can support for now. That's definitely, definitely not what I want to do, but if we get enough army XP, we'll be okay. You guys go and train. I don't want to train these guys because we're already lacking stuff here. So, it is what it is. We're lacking quite a bit less guns now, which is good. Texas Senate Congress is now ferociously debating how much power the now defunct Senate of Texas should have if it if it is restored. Senate of Texas. Resolve it once and for all? Legislative Assembly, huh? Well they should have a Senate. Well the way we're going. Hmm. I think next time I'll play uh, the American Republic as more of a Republican path. So I mean we're, we're fascists already, so uh, they did rise up against us. This is all the Senate once and for all. We'll, we'll replace them later on. I don't know. The flag. That'd be good to talk about. Pro-democracy forces unite Libya. Okay, then. A democracy in Libya. We shall see. 2011 English rights. Always good to have some English rights, right? What do you have down here? Bushmaker. 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 Master. Firearms. Military staff. Offensive. Defensive. Anything around here? Novice mastermind. Ooh. That's your political power. I don't want to hurt my political power. Naval experience gain. All right, then. That's very weird. Passionate gentlemen, consumer goods factory, subversive activities, monthly goods, consumer goods. Eh. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Research speed. Luke Hayes, our blunt. It's not bad, not great. Political power, less research efficiency gain. More industrial base, but less factory output. Extreme regulator. Oh. Foreign minister, biased intellectual, ideological crusader, more political power gain. Let's just buy World towns. I like that. Honestly, this guy doesn't do much for us. This guy's okay, but this guy, Iron Fist, a brute. Improved relations option opinion? I don't really care about that, do I? Uh, 0.63 is a little better, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I mean, these guys are okay. Caterpillar? Oh. Hewitt Packard? Okay. And next up, not too much else. So after the flag, the structure of the state. There's some within our administration that believe Texas should be divided into separate states, while others assure us keeping Texas united is a superior option. A Texas with too many votes in a federal Senate could be a major, major issue, especially if nationals take control of their seats, however. A central... Oh, famine in Ethiopia. But a centralized Texas sway to our side of a party could outweigh the benefits of dividing it. I mean, technically, we could divide it. Uh, I don't really want to, though. I prefer United, so. Congress is now ferociously debating how the flag of America and Texas should be displayed in the, Senate, in the state and beyond. Our flag for all? Texan flag only for citizens. Both flags in government buildings? Um, I, mean, I kind of don't mind having both flags in government buildings. That makes sense. Only for citizens. Our flag for all? Hmm. Hmm. Eh, I'll do that one, why not? I'm going to try to get as much political power as possible, so it's pissing them off again. Which might be a really bad thing, but it is what it is. 
I guess we have, you know, I guess that part of Texas. We need Mexican Texas, though, as well. Four million. That's a lot of people that live in Texas. Twenty-one and a half million. That's a lot of people. Any other research? Yes. Five days, four days, and we have about uh, less than two weeks for that one. After this, let's go ahead and try out something else. Maintenance companies with... What do we want? Military police is always good, right? That's always good to do. Oh, let's go and do this as well. Motorize, let's take another one. Oh, wrong one. Take another one of these off. So we need less motorized for them, right? Less motorized. That's looking a little better. After this, a state solution. It seems that we've solved the issue of Texan integration. Texas shall be a state of the Union again, just as it has been for the decades before, gain its newfound independence, and the people of Lone Star State shall live in peace under the banner of the American Republic. Chkomsky dissolves the central city. Oh. Oh, the Northeast Union declared war. Okay. Communist and committee revolt. Okay. The structure of the state. Congress is now ferociously debating whether Texas should be admitted into the Republic as one or divided a group of states. Divide Texas? I can't see Texas divided. I'm going to remain. You got to keep them as one. I, I, I don't want to see Texas divided. I really don't. Artillery is not bad. Army logistics. Uh, what else we have here? Close air support. Bad weather penalty. Well, there's not a lot here that I'm super interested in. Uh, we could use more manpower, though, so I'm going to go with limited conscription, probably. That hurts our output a little bit, but I think that would be a good way to go for now. You guys go and stop killing your own planes off. And come over here. Texan nationalist attack. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's see. If you, if, you, if, you, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. It is what it is. I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it, right? So. The court. Oh, we removed Texan trouble. See? There you go. Uh, next research will be done in about 13 days. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, Northeast Union. Hold on. Who is this? Sam Webb. He's a commie. Is he? I'm sure he's a real-life guy, right? It does not have unique focus view, which sucks, but whatever. And who's over here? Yeah, Chomsky. Revolutionary socialist. International... Anarcho-syndicalisms, huh? Alright. Alright. More nationalist attacks. Horrible. They keep removing infrastructure. I mean, go right ahead. You're just making life worse for everybody. And you're not going to prove any point, so... I guess just keep going if you feel like it. Uh, naval stuff. We've not talked about this. Carriers, though. I mean, that's already pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much to talk about here. Everything is pretty okay. Even cruiser stuff is okay as well. I suppose we could just go and grab some of this. You know, firefighting drills. Just to give us a slight edge in terms of not losing our ships, maybe. Sounds pretty good to me, right? Northeast Union has capitulated. Well, I wouldn't say that's really a Northeast Union. I'm not sure what I would call, like... West Virginia and this part of Virginia and Ohio. That's a very weird region. I, I don't know. I've never lived in that part, so. Okay, then. So, Texas is done. Thank you, Texas. Thank you very much. Economic Revival Act. Ooh. Flight of the Executives. Corporate Congress. Uh... Oh, we want to get rid of that. Oh, that hurts us so badly. we got to get rid of that. Economic Revival Act. The Economic Revival Act proposed by several executives from eastern Texas will supposedly boost revenue significantly. In addition, perhaps the executives who fled during the Bush and Rumsfeld era will finally realize that America is back and here to stay. A triple 50% bonus. Research bonus for industry. Not bad. Modern heavy equipment. Very, very good. Go ahead and grab some synthetic oil just because we might want to research and get some oil refineries. We can get some more rubber. But Ethiopia requests aid. We can pitch in. Well, says who? Oh, do something else here? Oh, integrate Texan territories. Gains. Do we not have cores on these on Texas and West Texas? Oh, we don't. I thought we were supposed to get cores on that. We got East Texas. We don't have Texas or West Texas. I guess no one cares about New Mexico. I guess we just call it West Texas now. Okay. Yeah, New Mexico doesn't have actually that many people that live in it. So, how's Canada doing in the Red World timeline? Preston Manning, progressive conservative. What? Progressive conservatives? What does that mean? Progressive conservative. Conserving progressivism? Or you're... Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> and was the next research done? In a few days. Not bad. About a week. After this one. Delay. And we'll go with... Elastic defense. I should never know that much about tactics. These tactics, I don't, I don't know much about. I just look at the pretty pictures. So I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good. Philadelphia Constitution. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. That's all I can do is just reply with, okay, sure, why not? We got a lot of artillery, though. I kind of like it. 
I don't mind throwing artillery piece right here too. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, oh, our shippies are doing okay. Hopefully, shippies. Yep, we got. Oh wow, look at that naval power. Oh, we got more. Yes, more. Yes. Twenty ten main. Oh, we have light tanks. I don't mind making them for like support companies and logistics, or you know, recon. I mean, recon. We gotta get some more of this though. And what are we building? This stuff. It's still going along actually, pretty nicely. We'll we'll buy one of these though. Thank you very much. Good, good, good. Uh. So we have passed the Economic Revival Act, which I'll read very soon, but return to the Americans. With the news of a truly corporate America under the leadership of President David Duke reaching Canada and most of the international scene, it appears numerous executives are returning to America so that they can finally return to their decaying businesses and heal their economy. We welcome the guidance. Congress convened today to debate the President's Economic Revival Act. This bill will supposedly ensure that the American economy progresses at a rapid pace to entice long-gone executives in the upper class to return to our country. As expected, the debate lasted hardly an hour as a conglomerate of businessmen and corporate leaders came to the conclusion that this act would be beneficial for all Americans. As the men signed off and the President approved his own bill, the act will come into effect as soon as possible. Wunderbar. Cool. So we're doing better. Well, actually, guns are not doing great, but they're doing okay. They're doing all right. Uh, Michael Hagee? Hagee? Oh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Reinforce rate, recovery rate. Uh, let's do that one. We can have a little bit more recovery. And anything over here? The tanks did great, I thought, last time. More offensive? I love being offensive. And let's reinforce a little bit faster. It, it can take some time. Yeah, screw it. We'll do all that stuff. It can take some time for, our, for tank divisions to do what they need to do. Tanks not looking too bad. Support equipment's looking okay. Fuel storage. Happy 2012, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. That 2012 was much of the year I graduated from high school. What a year. Kind of weird. And that's okay. After that, let's go and do target the independence union. Maybe promote skilled immigration. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Create investment advisory accounts. Oh, yeah, we gotta do that one. Businessmen must be advising the government's policy on industry and the economy at every turn. Skilled stockbrokers and leaders of powerful corporations will be the first member of a new IAC that will ensure investments are sound, secure, and above all, benefit American jobs. Well, let's hope so. We get 10% more construction speed, which is uh, pretty nice, I would say. And we have about two days left. That's not too bad. I like that these, at least a lot of these focuses, not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them are just, you know, not 70-day focuses, which is nice. American executives returned. They arrived at significant fanfare to land at airport or international airport. After the Economic Revival Act and the other bills supported by President Duke progressed the American economy to new heights, various executives from the former USA were personally invited back. While some declined and chose to remain in Canada, Mexico, or any other country, they fled in 1928 or 1987. I mean, 1987. There were already planes arriving in Atlanta with the president on the tarmac. Tarmac. These CEOs and business people were greeted with cheers of thousands along the fence line, eagerly waiting for their saviors. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. HP or Caterpillar. I kind of prefer Caterpillar just because uh, I prefer industry stuff, so. But hey. Now we get 1.22 political power every day. Not bad, I'd say. Not too shabby. Military police are always nice to have, right? Depends on who you ask, I guess. Let's grab some M2 and M22 4s. Pretty good, pretty good. After that, it's a little while, but we can go ahead and read the next one. Remove corporate taxes. Wow, mine is 0.6 political power every day. Wow. Factory apple goes up by way, a whole bunch, and Noam Chomsky is dead. Bye-bye. Now let's target the Independence Union. The Independence Union has aimed to limit the power of corporations in America ever since the Republican Party embraced the hard right-wing economics, believing that low taxes and opportunity were core values of the conservative movement. They may be, but... The Independence Union are also traitors who would despise any democracy of the businessman and therefore must be removed. I think we're doing quite well. How strong actually is these guys? Oh, the Federation of American Syndicates. Okay, I, this is historical, right? So, Western corruption, appalling recognition. Uh, they have American Peace Act. They also have power of the... Can we just go to war with them now? I guess so. Oh, they banned the Communist Party. Oh, no, the Communist Party... Ban oh, yeah, okay, they banned it then. Um, no faction. They have a, quite a bit of manpower, just like us. They got plenty of factories, just like us. They might have a little bit more, actually. And they might have more divisions. We can't really tell right now. Well, that's not good. And actually, our stockpile is looking not too bad, actually. We do, we always need more guns, which is okay with me. Uh, let's look at the Independence Union, because they have a bunch of trades. We do get 12% more stability, which is nice. So garrisons. Can we replace this at least with military police? That would be quite good if we could. You guys actually keep the infantry training because they're pretty cheap so, and we need that army XP as much as high as possible. We just need more of it. More, 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 more. And after targeting independence units, we'll probably crush personal liberties. 
Why not? We get better consumer goods, more fascism. I love it. Personal liberties have no place in a corporate society. One has no need to vote to speak out against the regime and engage in other acts that could jeopardize our control over American society when they can much more easily be dutiful and quiet cogs in a greater machine. We cannot have the common people of America attacking our rule or else our regime would be truly illegitimate. Oh look, more factories. Uh, guns, 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 guns blazing. If we don't have enough guns, we're not American. Good, good, good. And heck, we can make a lot more lightnings once we get all this other stuff done too. Uh, oh, the other cast would be nice. Firefighting drills, very good. 2012, like I said. Uh, actually, I want to come over here just in case. I don't know when we're supposed to go to war with these guys. And how the heck is all of... That's not even Indiana. It's Wabash. What did they do? Rivery. What did they do to the names? Mishikama? P P Parsons? Kanawa? Oh my goodness. Sylvania? Sylvania? What did they do to the names? Are these like the original, original names that they used to be called? Fletcherland? I doubt that's the original name. Flynn. This is very weird, I'll be honest. Very, very weird. Now, I've been told in this mod that this actually doesn't do very much if you put infrastructure everywhere. Yeah, you might get some more resources, but it doesn't actually help you build things faster or something like that. It doesn't matter to me. I love building stuff, so that's okay. Alright, crush personal liberties, and maybe we'll have one more focus before we end the episode. Uh, well, let's read about power... You know what? I'll let you guys decide. Should we do power to the corporations? Or should we do power to the president? I like both. This one gives you more political power and recruitable population, recovery, and stability. Or the corporations make us lose 20% stability but give us 35% more construction speed, minus 10% consumer goods factories, as well as 10% more factory output. So I'll let it be up to you guys to decide which one we should do. So, very cool. War with the false fascists, huh? Cool. Very, very cool. And then M2s. Nice. Actually, maybe we'll get some armored cars as well. That might be very, very nice to grab. Oh, good, good, good. Anything else around here? Well, let's see. Since I'm going to leave this decision to you guys, I don't mind doing promoting skilled immigration, more monthly population, stronger the better, arms for the little man, recruitment campaigns, not bad, it's not great. It does help us get a little more army XP, salute the sailors, salute the pilots. There's not a whole huge amount of focus trees that we can do, unfortunately. Which does kind of suck. But in the end, I'm probably going to end up choosing the stronger the better. Just because we could use a little bit more armor. So America's always had good tanks. The stronger we can make them, of course, the better. Now, whether that be heavy tanks or light tanks, it doesn't matter. Oh, look, investment comes. Oh, yes. And who do we want here? Union of American People's Republic. You know what? I'm actually I like Mexico. Mexico took this over, so we don't have to deal with these guys. I'm so sorry, Arizona. I don't have a huge love for you. Who are you, Harry Mitchell? Nice smile. It's almost forced. Oh, give me some. Oh, we can some volunteers. Crush personal liberties. Well, the stronger the better. Sounds good to me. And I'll send some volunteers over here when we're done. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we're going to be making some carrier planes and, sh and uh, have a good time, probably beating up the Federation of American Syndicates. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.